first firing is something called chain wrestling, okay? And then there's a drill you can do called the drill match. Anybody ever hear of it? The drill match. It's the best way to drill. In other words, you drill a takedown, your partner's going to bounce into his uh, defensive position or whatever. Uh, let's see, who's got a who's got a Anybody want to laugh with the double A or something? Come on. Let's go. Do some kind of move to me. I'm going to show you guys what I want you to watch is how I land. Okay? Once I realize this guy's doing it, I'll be a good partner and all that stuff. And once he starts to get a takedown, okay, I don't want to let him catch something where he can put me in my back. Okay. If he doesn't, watch how I land. And this is going to be good for me and him. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, good. See how I stay in my face. I don't want to go to my back or my side. I, I pulled my knee. The second he started to get a take down, I a single leg or something different, a different shot. Okay, he's back there. Go ahead, finish that. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I get my hands out and I pull my knees up under my chest. Now, once I get to that, that spot, I can start working bottom stuff. And what he should do is jump up and probably try to take away some time. That's about the most common. Right? So, the next thing we're going to go over here. And I want you to go back and when, uh, when we start putting all these things together, when you drill your shot, the, the guy getting drilled on, you got to be a good reactor. You got to engage in the tie up the way he wants you to or the way you wouldn't match. Okay, when he moves you and fakes, you react, he pulls your head down, you pick it back up, all that good stuff. When he takes you down, get into your base right off the takedown. Okay, and then we're going to go into the next thing. The next thing I'm going to show right now is a changeover. A changeover. It's something that when I'm on bottom, I do this a number of times, okay? My three best things on bottom are a stand-up, a sit-out, a short set, uh, and a changeover. And the changeover works, okay? In the game. Where's the tennis part? Right here? I'm going to put my back to you guys. Right when you kind of come in next time, try to make a horseshoe so I can face it like that. Right. Anyway. When I do a changeover, if that guy's hips slide off me, that's when I'll hit it. If he pushes me forward, I'll hit a stand-up. Okay? And there's a couple different things you want to practice when you're doing this. For instance, how many times have you been on the mat, okay, and you get set on bottom, and you get a jump on the guy? In other words, if you start right on the whistle, and that guy like, wasn't quite ready, you're out every time, right? If you get that head start, like I'm saying, and I'm going like this, and that guy is still going to move, I'm gone. Okay, but what about the times when he gets the jump and you get this? Right? And he chops your face. So what we do, I had a high school coach, a pretty good teacher and a smart coach, and he had us do all these drills, 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 drills. And the drills were designed for wrestling matches. They weren't designed just for drilling and making drilling easy. They were designed to help you in a match. So the one drill we did off the bottom, this is almost always, okay? I get set on bottom, the guy hops on top, I don't start to move, he starts to move. Every time I drill on bottom, my partner starts the action. And he's going to start the action and try to break me down. Okay, so I get set here and I got a guy on top who tries to chop me. Boom! As soon as he chops me, I slide and I put my elbow forward. I slide my hand like upside down kind of so it's out and you can't grab a one-on-one. -on -one. I slide my knee forward. Okay, so I call this posting. In other words, I'm not going like this, boom, to my belly or my face. I go, boom. Okay, I close. Now, I step. Grab his hand, put it up here. Take his foot, step it up. And bounce back in. So off of his shot, I'm going to post and bounce up. So I got a guy on top. You got a tight waist chop to the left side? Okay, come on. Slow. Okay, ready to go. I post. Throw my shoulders back. So now off the hips, tight waist, and chop, I'm gonna bounce off the mat and come right up. But this time you can go right here. And I'm up. I leave him down there. When I step up, I pop. I come into the stand and pop your hips down. Okay, cut for all the way down there. That's when he's pushing forward. When he's pulling to the side, or spiral riding, or coming claw and tight waist, that's when I do my changeover. So I'm going to show you guys both at the same time. It's a big group. It takes a while to get out and get productive. So I'm going to give you two things to do. That's one. That's easy, right? Is that easy? 
One more time, come on. <clears throat> Guy's on top, he's chopping. And when he chops, look where he wants to pull me. So I don't let him, I, I put my arm up here and I slide my knee forward. Now he, he chopped me into this position as I move. Now, close my hand, I'm gonna push up like that, push up like that, I'm gonna step my foot up here and I'm gonna pop upside down. Try to come right up, okay? Does that help? Yes? Who needs to see it? Is that good? Okay, that's the first thing I want you to do. The next thing I want you to do is a switch in this position. And a changeover, changeover is very similar to a switch, so I'm just gonna have you drill a switch for now, come back in, we'll turn it into a changeover, we'll do it one more time and then we'll get into single legs. Okay? I'm on bottom here, pushing me forward, I do my bounce and stand up. If he pulls me to the side, or spiral rides, or claw, or rides a half, and then try this guy and circle out this way. Yes, he does any of that stuff. It's not a full impression. Okay? So you gotta do something different. And I think the best thing to do, the best thing I found to do, is unwrap this stuff. And it's controlling your head. You have to unwrap it. Okay, the best way to do it here is to get like a change. Okay? I think it's going to here, and I switch my hips. Now his hand, is basically doing nothing. Okay, and then I'm gonna pop up. Now, by doing that, I'm gonna grab the hand that's around the face. Okay, that little spot in your brain that remembers things forever. You guys know what I'm talking about? It's the first phone number you ever had at your house or something like that. Take that little key, open that door. Okay, you're in your brain, you're deep inside there. Put these three words in there. Tips, handle, pressure. Okay. Hips handle pressure. Say it. Hips handle pressure. Hips handle pressure. It's like a chant. Hips handle pressure. Don't forget it. If I can control his hips, I have a handle and I keep pressure on him, he's not getting out. Okay? If he can beat two of the three, he can grab my hands and make it so I can't hold on to anything, and he can get his hips away from mine, now he's got two of the three feet, he's probably going to get out. Okay. Hips, handle, and pressure, are, that's the whole thing about top and bottom wrestling. You want to free your hips, you want to try to get vertical so you can't put weight down on top of you, okay? and you want to try to get control of hands. Okay. Hips, handle, pressure. In this situation, this team will go in tight ways to half. Okay, this is a handle, this is a handle. Can you see that? Okay. And Controlling my hips with this elbow, and he's got his chest on me a little bit because I'm like a table. I'm horizontal. So what I'm going to do here is move my hand a little bit, and that starts to stretch out this hand a little bit. It's, it's very subtle, but it helps. Okay. And now, as I hit my switch, I'm going to take this hip out here, bring this one in, and turn my body, and I'm going to get vertical. Okay. Here, here, and now my hips come up. Now, he lost his handle, he has no weight down on me, and he doesn't have my hips. I'm out. Okay? Hips, handle, pressure. Do the both. Go try those two things for now. The first one, we'll turn our bottom. We've got chops, we've got counts down here. Close, step, stand up. Okay? The second one, he gets a spiral ride, we'll a switch. Okay? Then we'll come back and we'll do the actual changeover. And when we come back, I don't want anybody behind me. Okay, that way everybody stays from like there, there, or Okay? And I'll hear me as soon as I go. Alright, one, two, three.